Alright, today we're taking a look back at Sea of Thieves. Uh, this is sort of a review slash revisit. Sort of I re played the game on launch and now uh, sort of now that I played the game more recently, they're gonna put all its updates. I played between that now, but I'm sort of gonna go ahead and give the review for everything that has been in the game. Um I did play a lot of this game, but I haven't played all the Tall Tales. Uh, well, a lot because I've lost my momentum for this game. Sort of because of the Rocky Launch and stuff. I enjoyed this game, but critically speaking, there's a lot of problems. This is probably the most wasted potential I've seen in the game. I think that this game started at launch where it is now. It literally would have been something. It would have been a system seller. This game has a good sense of exploration and adventure. The world feels very open and vast. Sailing is fun and involved in words and words teamwork, but it isn't impossible to do it on your own. Boat combat is similarly fun. Uh, In-person combat is decent between players. With the base skeleton in EC, so it's way too easy. They feel like they're made of paper mache. I know this game is somewhat geared toward kids, but Minecraft is similarly somewhat geared toward kids and has much better enemies. So there's a few other examples. Uh, even the even the skeletons I had later. Uh, aren't much fun to fight either. They mostly feel like they have more health. But still, like, don't feel much of a threat somehow. The puzzles are good, fun, and involved. But with the game being multiplayer, it feels like you don't have the time and safety for them. You always feel rushed. At launch, this game had very few goals. The Tall Tales have improved this, but it's still a problems problem with the Tall Tales. One thing is it's a bit obscure to start, you have to go to specific locations. Wouldn't it be easier to go to like any tavern? You know, also you basically got to do them solo or with a private crew unless you can think you can get strangers online to help you. On a side note, it's good this game has matchmaking, it isn't private only. Another issue that is too easy to lose key items. I get that thematically in gameplay. It's supposed to have this feel of you gotta keep treasure safe. But it can be really annoying to have to restart a quest because you lost a key item to a crack and attack. It'd be nice if there's some shorter side missions with lower stakes. Uh, the competitive multiplayer is good, but as a fair bit of warning, there is a decent amount of people playing, but still can take a, a fair bit of a long time to fill a match. Uh, since the teamwork is strong in multiplayer, and adds a lot to the fun, uh, it's generally a solid. A uh, fun multiplayer ship game. There's a, unfortunately, there's a big problem with spawn camping. The people who do that usually don't win because it's about getting silver, not kills. But people don't do that necessarily because they want to win, because they want to spite. They do it because they want to spite other people. Uh, spawn campers won't ruin every match, but it'll certainly ruin some of them. Uh, what's there in the story is interesting. It's fun pirate adventures. The world's interesting has interesting lore with the uh, fun seam of ology stuff, yeah, but all that's a bit buried. Uh, the stacks are good. I don't usually like are cartoony, but this works. The islands and the islands and oceans are very scenic. Uh, the bass music is good, but they also player also has instruments and can make uh, fun music with that. It's really cool how uh, two players. Uh, both play an instrument and their songs can kind of combine if they stand near each other. That's real fun. Uh, I hope this game gets more of a second chance, maybe a sequel, or maybe that Disney that maybe that Pirates of the Caribbean thing will really catch on or maybe someone will create a similar game that same exploration feel sailing the open world Her Worlds is a fun multiplayer adventure game at launch I would give this game around a 7.3 but now I'm giving it an 8.16 thank you to anyone who likes concert subscribes <laughs>